it's a big Come freaking on, deal. We started the themes podcast. Yeah. We're gonna talk about the movies that we rewrote all the themes for. Some movies and complaining about things because we want to be in these damn movies. But we don't think Hollywood has a damn us to deal with how real our themes are. are. We don't pick the themes from all these movies. Cut the mustard good and all, and we can do a better no, job. Hey, hey. We wrote the themes and now the better themes. And now this is a podcast. When you listen to us talk about our themes, okay, here we go. Let's podcast. Everybody, get yourself some turkey. It's the last waltz. If they shot it on Thanksgiving. Yeah, that happened. Yeah, they had, they had Thanksgiving dinner there. It almost looks like Levon's plan is being. Right? Just... Hey, man. They call that synergy. Let's do a last waltz. If this line, if this next part lines up. You get the idea. You get the idea. Um, man, I, so we're talking about The Last Waltz today. It's the last song on EP7. Uh, the first EP to have five tunes on it, but... It's a five-tuner. <laughs> it's a big-time five-tuner. I just, I mean, th- this song represents to me what the ultimate joke of the themes are. It's like, it's like, uh, it's, a, it's, a, it's a concert movie, and we're like, uh-uh. Music doesn't. The well, music does not really represent the feel. I mean, it doesn't. It's not. <laughs> I like. I I like the band a lot. Yeah. But I couldn't think of any the band song that is about the the last waltz, even <laughs> theme from Last Waltz. <laughs> Yeah, because they actually have a theme for it too. Yeah, there's and, not even any and, words in it. And they right? don't. I mean, okay. The idea, in case you people have forgotten, we this is episode 46 or 47 or something like that. We're almost at 50 episodes. But it's also we'll, a good jumping on point. It is a good jumping on point <laughs> because we're going to explain to you what the gist of the themes are now. It's like, okay, a, th- a movie theme, a movie theme really, really should tell you exactly what the movie's about or at the very least what the person singing the theme thinks it's about because, you know, we are, we're a storytelling culture. <laughs> yeah. Uh, whoa, though. I just said, my, we are, yeah, I'm sorry, you're right. We are a storytelling culture. But my mind just got blown up because I, I watched a movie last night and it just occurred to me that the theme kind of does. Like, this what, might be the only time it's ever happened was where the it, theme um, works. Was it... Uh, um... Armed and Dangerous? No, no. Because that we watched that the other day, and it does that, oh, too. Oh, wow. I'm sorry. Okay. Continue. continue. This, and so the, but the, the song was written far before the time the movie happened. Uh, disqualified, then, but continue. Okay, yeah. continue. So continue. Disqualified continue. for that, Susan. It was, uh, I watched um, Frank Coppola's Peg Sue Got Married. Oh, yeah, yeah, My yeah. My God, yeah. that's a good movie. But, um... You know, I mean, yeah, yeah. It's, but like, it's, you, but, I listen to the song. It kind of, t- I mean, it doesn't talk about Charlie. It, so, does it talk about time? Like, like, like Actually, inter- that's interdimensional not, that's, travel. No, and that's time true. It's, it's only about Peggy Sue getting that's married. That's kind of the main part so, of the yeah, movie. I guess and she doesn't yeah. even get married in the movie. So, like, <laughs> actually, fuck you, that's buddy. a very good <laughs> like, point. So, you know, maybe yeah. like. Uh, 
the, the only way that, that the Buddy Holly theme could be a theme about Peggy Sue Got Married is if they did a Big Bopper remix where That's he true. calls That's... into the song. Yeah. He's like, wait up a minute. Some time travel happened, too. <laughs> Hold on a second. What? <laughs> what? Oh, baby. But this time, the girl is at home, and he's yeah, on the phone yeah, yeah, with, yeah. with Buddy Holly. Yeah. <laughs> Interesting. Okay, he's we will get to the last waltz real, real soon. Him, but... <laughs> he's giving him the update. <laughs> we'll get to the last waltz. Promise. Oh man! But another, just a real quick. I don't. I don't know if you'd call this an Easter egg. So the movie, it's not a Buddy Holly song playing at the time, um, but the musician who shows up for just a, a quick cameo in Peggy Sue Got Married is Marsh Crenshaw. Marsh Crenshaw, yeah, who yeah. played Buddy Holly yeah. in La, in La Bamba. Singer of the. Uh... What's that? I want to rock out to the serious. Is it the serious thing? Does I he have can't a song remember. Called? the like, you, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Like, like, uh, yeah. You're always talking about the serious things. Yeah, you're always... I want to talk about the serious I things. I should listen to, to my I want to talk French about show. them, talk about them. You get them out and rock out to the serious things. Yeah, that's, <laughs> that's right. <laughs> so wh- so wh- when was the first time you seen The Last Waltz? Well, I was going to I was gonna preface with this because you. I, I think I saw it upon its DVD release. I know you, you saw it in the room. Ritz, right? Did yeah, you go to the yeah? Yeah, yeah, this, yeah, yeah. This, yeah. I, I, it and, the and, and that was right when that DVD came out. Yeah, and then, um, yeah. So basically, you went to the Ritz. I went to my local Suncoast Video, and I was like, "Is that a two disc set by chance?" <laughs> and they're like, "Yes." So if I'm was. gonna pause this, <laughs> how clear will it be? Like, I, and they're like. Upwards of like 570p, man. Wow. Whoa. 480p. I'm sorry. Four. Like, probably. Okay. Probably like 480p. My TV is pretty small, though. Yeah. So. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. yeah. What if my TV is 10 years old? How's that? But man. man, seeing this, you know, seeing this in the theater for oh, for the first time, and the way it starts with that, um, doesn't what's the title card say? Like, play this, mo- play this movie loud. Play this movie loud, yeah. And yeah, it's yeah. like, yeah, and then and then the Ritz, who was pretty good at it, they were like, oh well, let's play it loud, and they did. That's what it said. Yeah, and they they were like, okay, well, if Martin Scorchese <laughs> cheesy says so, Scorchese, Scorchese. Now, did this, this did this movie scenario? Because this is how it worked for me. This movie made me a the band fan. Like I was, I was aware, but this one, yeah, I had I never in. really listened to them. Like I, like I knew, you know, I knew yeah. the weight. I knew, yeah. you know, Cri- Cripple Creek. Yeah, I don't even know if I knew Cripple. I Creek. might not have like, actually. I, I, prob- I knew. I probably knew the weight and the night they drove to Dixie Town. Yeah, and I knew a lot of the other songs that other people. Yeah, like, like I, I knew shall help be released. Ness, help Ness, yeah. help <laughs> Ness, help Mike Ness. Yeah. Well, no, I think it's about how um, if you want to help somebody, you have to have. A lot of helpness in you. Oh, right, right. Yeah. yeah I need yeah. your helpness, helpness, helpness. You yeah. know who I've been getting into lately who I ain't never had before? Joni Mitchell? Well, yes, but I only thought of that because she sings that song and yeah. th- and that then became a gateway to Crosby and Stills and Nash, Oh, yeah, yeah. Who yeah. I ain't never listened to too much. I mean, I every once in a while I'll hear a song and I'll be like, that's pretty good. That, and then that, and it that, turns that song out to about be, having a house is pretty good. Yeah, yeah. And there's there's they're one of those bands that I ain't never known what their songs is. You yeah, know, like you, sometimes you know, like, I'm like, oh, yeah. that's whose yeah, song yeah. that is. Like, um, I didn't know that like he got game was like Graham Nash or or was it Crosby's like oh, okay, like, yeah, like, I didn't know that, that either. That, that riff that yeah, he got game. For some reason I assume that was like Love and Spoonful or something. Yeah, yeah. You want to think every you you want to you give love everything to love and spoonful. I mean, because usually what did they do? Deeper shade of soul. I mean, no, that's before Urban, Urban Dance, Dance Squad, Squad did. love and spoonful did a um, little bit of soul, right? Or no, yes, no, yes, is that yeah, it? Yeah, yeah. A little bit of soul now. I'm gonna, a, bit, I'm is gonna that, a, or is that is that love and spoonful? I'm, yes, there's no I'm way not gonna to look know. it up. There's no way to know. Yeah, I mean, yeah. somebody could probably find out, but that somebody is not me. Yeah. So. Okay, some facts about The Last Waltz, because we're talking facts right okay. here. Fact Rob, one. Robbie Robertson dipped his guitar in solid gold for this movie. Fact. Oh, okay. I didn't realize that was a fact. No. Oh, it's not a fact? No, I don't know. I never heard of it before. No, no you don't know the story about he dipped his guitar in gold? No, it Look doesn't. Look at it. 
No, no, not the, not the whole thing. The bottom part. Oh, the okay. part where you play. <laughs> I mean, I'm just looking next at the top. Time, it's, next time it's they not show in the it. shot. There's I, only. I can see. What's, I what's see this guy's this name? Is, Ronnie. Di- oh, yeah, Ronnie that's Hunt. gold. Yeah, and but that's real gold. Oh, he was wow. like, he had his guitar dipped in gold <laughs> for pretty, the final. That is boastful. And it apparently made it really, really heavy. heavy, right? Yeah. 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 Um, fact number two: um, the big chunk of cocaine in Nick and um, <laughs> uh, Neil Young's nose. Yeah. Sure. Yeah, I or, noticed that. I mean, it could be a bug, but Pro- it, but, but, prob- but yeah. yeah. Hey, hey, these were the times of uh, doing a little bit of cocaine. Hey, if Neil Young, Neil Young does what he wants. Okay. Yeah. I mean, this is 1976, man. You think people aren't doing cocaine? I I remember when Neil Young got divorced, and it was like, but you're like 75. Why would you like? Just not ride it out, and then I, but then I was like, oh, because you're Darryl with Daryl Hannah. Hannah. Yeah, yeah. It's like okay, nah, and, sorry, you Peggy. Know, and you know, people uh, are realizing more and more through the benefits of modern, like uh, you know, learning more about what stuff is good for the body. I was about to say modern medicine, but sometimes that includes like plants or whatever. Sometimes you're like 75, and you're like, you're like, wait a minute. I gotta eat more plants, baby, and then go out with Daryl Hannah. I got some time left, and yeah. then you do that and you because know, you're Neil Young. Neil Young really likes high definition audio. He does. Man, he did. He he's he does not care for iTunes. Yeah, I like the story about Neil Young where he was like he was um, using his barns as speakers. Do you ever hear that story? No, he but was, I like, like he, it. He's like he's he had two barns and he put really big speakers in each of the barns, and then he went out on a boat, and then he was like and he was telling every and he was basically mixing from the boat he's like okay bar number one turn that shit up <laughs> and and then and then they would and then it would be louder and they'd be like oh no 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 turn it down a little bit bar number one bar number two turn that goddamn shit up i think it would be funny i'm gonna go ahead and assume that these barns um didn't weren't already there and that he had for every track on the that they recorded yeah, they had he to had, to, they had to build them like like yeah. they could they recorded drums so now they have to build a barn yeah to, and anytime he wanted to do an overdub you'd have to build a new barn and one guy kept fucking up and building pools instead and they're, <laughs> they're like it is a good pool but it is no barn english it is <laughs> <laughs> tis a sick fill tis, tis tis tasty chops English. Now, if there were like number one, okay, was there even a first waltz? Like on their first show, were they like were they like cause cause if that didn't if 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 at their very first show they weren't like everybody, this is the first waltz, just to make it clear. Because then like calling something the last waltz when you never waltzed before. Uh, furthermore, I can't think of a tune. Uh, you know, I'm I'm not one of those music theory bozos. <laughs> <laughs> those fucking bozos always thinking about I'm not, songs. I'm not one of those bozos, <laughs> but I don't believe there's. I don't think there's any song in the movie that is a waltz. Maybe Dixie. Last waltz. The the theme for Last Waltz is a waltz, isn't it? That one doesn't count, <laughs> and I don't remember because yeah, they filmed that. Because I always some skip of this that. movie is a concert, but sometimes a concert turns into a movie. Yeah, didn't they do that with uh, like the weight? Because didn't they? The story I heard was that they they kind of they they kind of kind of bungled it a bit in the show. Yeah, the, either they bungled it, and or, also or maybe scores also, didn't, didn't. Also, sometimes they were like running out of film and stuff. Like, because oh, oh, right, if you listen, right. um, uh, there's these things um on a DVD called audio commentary track, and it's like you have to go to the. What you do is you go to Suncoast and you ask you ask if they have the two disc set of, of fucking Last Waltz. Then you take that um pop the it collectors in, pop it in your DVD player. Make sure to change the input on your TV to like. Input two probably HDMI did not exist yet, so don't worry about that. Uh, don't even look for that because it will not be there. Yeah, you, did, did you like? I often did this. Did you often not use input one and then just go right to input two? Sometimes, like if I was we, feeling like you know, feeling, feeling a little loosey goosey, you know, like a little little, little uh, stinker. <laughs> I, I would totally <laughs> look at this do that. little stinker going yeah. right to yeah. input two. Now, uh, do you think Richard Manuel was on acid uh, during? It seems like he's on acid during these videos. Yeah, and I think so, but I don't Dur- know enough. About about the um the, the drug culture of the day, but there know, was or, at, I mean they were doing some fucking ass, right? Like, I just don't know if like PCP was a thing yet. Yeah. Or, I mean like, he could just be really drunk, but it, it reminds me of like those giggles, like like yeah. Like, and those when are, I think those, he's, are, those are doing acid giggles. Yeah, know? and I I think he's probably kind of like that anyway, like even stone cold sober. Yeah, like, I guess he's some kind, probably some, a little. You know, a little I mean, imagine you know. if you just got to be in the band, like wouldn't you act like that? I mean, yeah, I, I just you know I think of some people I know like. 
like let's say the bass player of our old band, like who like yeah, yeah, yeah. got sober, but he's still sort of the same weirdo. Oh yeah, yeah. You know and what hey, I mean? Be a like man. We need more of that. People being weirdos. There's too much conformity, baby. Yeah, just like be weird or something. <laughs> yeah. You know? Yeah. I mean, <laughs> uh, like if you have weirdness inside, you don't repress it because if you repress it, what's going to happen is you're gonna the weirdness is gonna build up so much. To the point where sometimes you just like turn into like another right, guy, buddy, you got um, that and right, then that buddy, guy's gonna be you got weird, that right, and you're not gonna know you about got that right, it buddy. because like. <laughs> <laughs> So, Wally, I was watching this movie called The Last Time We're Gonna Dance. Yeah. And it's about this, like, band uh -huh. who, like, I don't even know if they're... Honestly, I hate saying this. I don't even know if they're even trying to goof. <laughs> well, I mean, their faces goof and, like, their shirt collars goof. But other than that, they're kind of playing, like, music that you would listen to. What are them things called when somebody is a dead guy and you're, like, standing around acting like an idiot because they're dead? Sounds like that. Yeah, a lot of it's like that. And then there's this one guy who's kind of, like... He kind of does goof. I'll give him that. <laughs> okay. There's this one guy who's like, like, and they'll they'll say to him, "Hey, what do you think about being in this crock of shit band?" <laughs> and he goes, <laughs> 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 yeah. <laughs> yeah. And then he, he talks about marshmallows. And then he plays some tunes. And when he plays tunes, his voice is like, like real big. <laughs> you know what I didn't expect though was like, um. Rock and roll. I mean, like, is the, where'd that come from? Uh, like, okay, you're telling me you're gonna use rock and roll. <laughs> well, you said the movie was about waltzing, like, and like now you're gonna rock. I mean, whatever. There's, man. there's problem number one. Yeah. So you're gonna I have mean, to like, you're gonna have to do what you can to fix that. You could sell sell us some money. <laughs> yeah. I mean, like if I'm if we were gonna do like our last goof, um, like would we call the the the, the movie? The last don't goof. I mean, <laughs> come on, idiots. As You're, long as we're I on mean, you play subject. rock and roll. <laughs> yeah. I would ahead. like to let all of our listeners of this podcast yeah, yeah, know podcast. that, you know, um, just don't goof. <laughs> I mean, okay, we got it, like, guys. We got like, it. Like, don't goof. <laughs> we can like, handle we it. We can cover that one. We've been doing it, and honestly, I think you owe us a little bit of something for it. Yeah. We're not playing <laughs> like goddamn waltzes. Like, you know? Just give us some bip coins or just something. <laughs> <laughs> like, like, I don't know how many bip coins there are. I guess a one and a three, maybe a hundred thousand. Um, so, so, so this band yeah, yeah. in this movie. Uh huh. Okay. What so about, one guy, um, he's like got this fun. And his shirt, yeah. <laughs> and he's and just bepping and bopping. <laughs> but his shirts are his pants too. Is that the guy you're talking about? I, I like, they his bring out this guy, and he's pants. sort of like and he's, he's kicking, like, <laughs> and, he's, he and he's just he's like they bring out this like big like you know that like thing a baby. you know that fucking <laughs> big. thing who likes gold who wants he's yeah. on the cereal and he's he and he he's like hey <laughs> give me give gold. me gold yeah. you know that guy yeah, he yeah. comes out and sings okay <laughs> and he's. <laughs> like I have shirts but it's also my pants <laughs> but I like I like that his shirt has diamonds on it and it's if anyone shiny. would like to send I mean, us a diamond shirt well you better do it before it's too late yeah because you know we, I mean. we can rip it like we would get the shirt and take out the diamonds and then throw the shirt in the trash can did you ever see that movie where that lady lives in the woods with a bunch of dwarfs and they yeah. were like you stay here and clean because we're gonna go out and find diamonds Diamonds. Yeah, he's like, lady, just don't worry about it because we're getting diamonds. Clean the fucking house. And then she's like, okay, I well, I guess that. I can I'm clean this door. place, but I'm going to need this bird and this fucking rat to help me. <laughs> and you forgot about one thing, though, Jeff. <laughs> what thing did I forget about? Am I right? <laughs> I filled, he filled the bottles with a funnel. <laughs> oh, that's cool. Yeah. yeah. When yeah. I hear that, I'm like, I'm not even going to worry about that. Yeah. That is cool. 
Cool. <laughs> oh man, this guy on the movie, his name's Dr. Johns, and like his deal is like he's a doctor, but instead of helping people get that are sick, he just plays piano and style. Which I'm gonna goofs, say it is goofs. pretty goofy. <laughs> it really is. I mean, because people go to his office and they're like, "I'm dying, man." I mean, and he's like, "Well, check out this piano riff." At the dude. same time, though. <laughs> Don't goof. <laughs> yeah, because he learned the hard way that if you try to goof, then then your patients die. So don't. Like we've got that. I think it happened again, and I think somebody has been. I really think somebody's messing with us. It feels like when you wake up from having a dream, but was that dream real? Nah, it was just a dream. Yeah, or like when you wake up from somebody ha having messed with you. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Like, and oh, you're like, I have been messed with. I'm pretty sure somebody... Well, I'm not going to worry about it for now. Nah, why would you? I mean, like, it, it's uh, not what I would consider a whoop that's big. It's you know? not currently happening, yeah. so <laughs> out of sight, forget about it. Yeah, I mean, uh, one of the things that I like to focus on as I grow and mature is, like, not letting the little things bother you, you know? Yeah, you know what they say, don't sweat any small things. Yeah. And... That really means don't sweat at all, because if you think of it, beads of sweat are really small things. Yeah. So they should just shorten it to just don't sweat. Yeah, don't sweat um, it. So you know. Yeah. So uh, we got Neil Young on the TV here, and there's the uh, there's uh, the, either the bug or the cocaine in his yeah, nose. He was, snort, right he was probably and snorting hey, cocaine like, up know, his nose I to mean, get high. Um, here's the thing about uh, Mellow Rock. If you want to play it right. Better do some fucking coke. Better first. do a whole lot. Of <laughs> <laughs> if, you, um, if you want to keep it melt, I'm told in this scene that um, okay, so there's this beautiful silhouette shot. Yes, yes, yes. But isn't the story that it that wasn't supposed to be no silhouette? It was just the light um like blew out or something. I see. I don't know that story. Maybe that story is real. That's what I was told once by a person. Therefore, true. Case closed. Fact number Ipso three. Tatso. Fact number three. Fact number four about the movie. Um, in the scene when um, Muddy Waters is playing a rock and roll blues song, um, there's only um, all of a sudden you're like, wait a minute, this is just one shot and it hasn't changed. And the reason is because one of Marty Scorsese's camera guys was like, you know what? I forgot to put film in the camera. Oh, and then so Marty there. was like, oh, man. And he was on the walkie-talkie going like, okay, fuck it. We only, have one. Yeah, we only have one camera. So then they shot it with only one camera. But then towards the end of the song, it cuts to another shot. So you, so um, one would so they, assume they that, that, that they swapped that out that, that, uh, that um, uh, uh, what's it called? Uh, Cartridge? Car is it a car what rig? Is it? Is no, it a, it's no. not a rig. A rig is the yeah. whole thing. Yeah, I know what you mean. Just, uh, it's like the big... It's it, not cartridge. It's like a big... It's not like, real. It looks like a weight. Yeah, but well, what's that word? Yeah, I don't Can't, know. I swap don't know. out. And it's not film, but it is film. Yeah, the film's inside. <laughs> it's like the whole film canister but you that swap, just clicks on. What is it that you swap out? Oh, oh man, man, that's going to bother We're me. We're really bad film directors who directed only on video. Yeah, oh, man. I'm really going to have to watch... Swap uh, out that can. I'm going to have to listen to more mm. Team Deacons. No, it's not swap out that can. It's like cartridge. It's along the lines of cartridge, but it's something that, mag. Is it a mag? Is it a mag? It I want to say mag. Swap out that mag. Oh, okay. I think it's mag. Make sure we got some extra mags ready. Yeah. Oh, there you can see the coke real good there. Or a bug. Yeah, or it could be a bug. He I is mean, Canadian. And honestly, like it, the uh, you know, um, uh, it's a powder that goes in your nose. So if there are bugs, it just makes them more visible. Um, so maybe it's both. Yeah. Or, Actually, or, it has to be both, right? It's got to be. Yeah, it's got to be. Because it's both. not just gonna and, stick. And he's probably there. sweating a lot. Like I, I feel like Neil Young sweats a lot. Yeah, yeah, and hey, when you're a drinker and you're doing the cocaine, you're gonna sweat a lot anyway, too. Yeah, and you know? if you're playing rock and roll music, yeah, you know, if you're a big time rock and roller like Neil Young is, like you get out there, you're playing a fucking up tempo rocker like Helpless. That is an up, up tempo <laughs> rocker. <laughs> you're gonna be dripping by the end of the rock and. Yeah, what song, are the man? big up tempo rockers in this? The the Muddy Waters tune is pretty up tempo, yeah, right? Yeah. Um. Um. 
Life so, is a Carnival. Do they do that in this? Do they do that in this? What's the one? They do Ophelia, but they do. That's one of the ones. What's that's the shot one? On a, what's the one big? Not not the not the slow Rick Danko jam, but the the one the one where he's doing. Oh yeah, wait wait. Yeah. What's the um um the the shape? Yeah The shape I'm in. Is that it? Yeah yeah yeah. Going out riding. Peace in the valley. Yeah yeah. Gonna go riding. Yeah. When I was I went went back night. Back at 11, how the hell do I get to heaven? I really oh, like that. Oh, you don't know. Yeah, that yeah. old time religion scene. Because yeah. I, I feel like that's like the stonedest you've ever seen somebody yeah. on camera. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like even way more than that new Beatles show on Disney T. Yeah, yeah, that Disney T, man. That is like, man, their eyes is pink. There. Yeah, quality programming there. Groomers, though, albeit a bunch of groomers. <laughs> I like that. The, I like that. Are the Beatles groomers now? No, 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 no. Like, but uh, the, like, uh, I, I got political for a second. Conservatives are calling Disney groomers now. Oh, right. Because Disney, they, yeah, because they of, like yeah. gay. Because they're like fine with gay people yeah, and trans they're, people they're, and everything. Yeah. yeah so, well, I, oh, you're fine with that. Well, obviously, you're grooming the. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, I, yeah I'm not. I'm not going to get into it because I'll get. I'll get. I'll start going because that's that's a different podcast. That's if someone the, wants to get into that with me, I'm just like, well, you know, I guess we we. Can't can't groom them to be. You got to stop grooming them to be straight. Then too, can't use. Yeah. Anyway, we're anyway, we're gonna yeah. tell that story on our on our new <laughs> yeah. website, the revamped <laughs> under new management all spin zone. All spin zone. Yeah. But that, uh, that's a that's yeah. a deep cut. Yeah. Speaking of po- of of podcast stuff, that we should announce that th- we we uh, the next couple of weeks uh, are are very busy for everybody in our life. So this is this might be the last one for maybe like a month or so. It'd take a little hiatus while we finish the themes record um cody's getting married i don't know yeah here Cody's getting married cody's getting married yeah, yeah. hey hey speaking of marriages yeah, and i, I got heard I just, some other news yeah i got married this week too no big whoop you know i mean well i guess it is a big whoop i'm yeah, married yeah, yeah big yeah, ass yeah. Whoop. I, but we didn't have like a wedding or anything we just we just did it courthouse style uh, but yeah, yeah, yeah. I got married too, so uh, um, yeah. So we got some some stuff coming up. So yeah, I just wanted to let every you know all of our th- faithful uh, faithful uh, faithful you know, also. fifteen or sixteen listeners. Um, you might uh, uh, not have too much content from us in the next couple of weeks, but you might have EP eight, which also has is going to have eight songs on it. So uh, uh, that's pretty much done. So I'll probably I'll probably get that out there, and then when we come back, we can talk about EP eight, and hopefully the themes record will be mixed by yeah, then. Like we the, got the, a record the full... that's. Just went into post. Yeah, post, yeah, we went finished. Into post. We finished all the um, the keyboards on the new record, so that's gonna come out uh, definitely digitally, and you know maybe at some point. Uh, when I have a job that I uh, can make a living off of, um, maybe we'll do like an actual like small pressing of a of an actual vinyl. Yeah, of a vinyls. <laughs> uh, so that'll be cool. Yeah, but um, to get back to the last waltz, um, these guys are like. Let's stop playing. Let's just not be a band. But let's film it though. They're like, this is going pretty well. Let's stop. <laughs> yeah, and um, I mean, the, it might not have been going but well. The it, I don't know if it was going well because what happened after this is like basically the rest of the. I think the rest of the guys just kept going right, and Robbie Robertson just kind of pieced out, and the rest of the guys were like still. I think they were still performing as as the band. Oh, okay. Yeah, I didn't know that. Um, and I think some other guy was in there. Um, like I know being... Dango does some solo stuff because there's that scene. Oh, he's where it... dead. Yeah, but <laughs> <laughs> no, but pre... he didn't do that. He's he's dead. <laughs> but after, <laughs> uh, after being in the band and before getting yeah. croaked, <laughs> yeah, yeah, he... yeah, he did a lot of stuff. And and Lee Von Helm had his uh, barn where he did his rambles. That would be funny if once you died, none of the stuff <laughs> you the did, stuff you ex- didn't do that anymore. Somebody else did that. Yeah, I don't yeah. know. Yeah, exactly. That doesn't it doesn't exist. Oh, you know what? Something totally unrelated that I wanted to I wanted to run by you. Movies from when you were a kid. Do the people in those movies <laughs> who were younger than you are now yeah. then still seem older than you to you? For instance, I watched Point Point Break this afternoon. Everybody in that movie, other than maybe Gary Busey, was younger than I am now. Sure. But I still looked at them as older people. I'm like, yeah, I'm like these. No, I think, the, these. Yeah, the, I think, I'm a kid, and Keanu Reeves is a grown yeah. Up, so I watched the know. conversation recently. You know how old Gene Hackman? At least how old his character is? Forty one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I remember that because I. And I was like, yeah. whoa. I'm. I mean, I know I probably don't realize how old I look, but I don't think I look as old. At, like, but I think Gene Hackman's that kind of guy who like 
at age 10, he probably looked like he was 60. Yeah, and those guys, you know, I think people just lived harder. Like, I don't know. Like, n nobody gave a shit about, po I mean, not that we give a shit about pollution now, but I think they really didn't give a shit about pollution back sure, then. Sure. And, like, because you hear, you know, you see pictures from back then, and sometimes you don't see anything, and you figure it's just the pollution. <laughs> that's what, no, There's nothing no, there, though. There, there was bad, like, smog was a much bigger problem. Sure. Like, we're a little bit better. Like, they're making cars now that don't kill you quite as fast, you know, so that's good. Yeah, or they you kill know. you in different ways. Yeah, yeah, exactly. They find new ways to do it. But, but yeah, I mean, I, I, I want to, you know, and like soap is better and stuff now. Yeah, but yeah. now, <laughs> at least at my house, my, my, my partner recently watched a program about. So, oh, like, soap is good. Yeah, now, uh, <laughs> Shit. now a whole lot of soap is bad for you. <laughs> like, like somehow they, somehow they found a way to to kill you with soap. Yeah, but even like the guys that are like, this soap is good for you. Are you telling me that's really bad? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this is gonna this is gonna sound weird, but some of these guys in oh. in the soap commercial, it's like the soap madman. They like um, they're sometimes they'll tell you stuff, but like they don't even really mean it. They'll be like, "Well, what? They just want you to buy the stuff and not get clean." Is this soap gonna kill germs? Fuck yeah! Is this soap gonna fuck you up? I don't know. Just try it. It reminds me of the band, the song by the band Soapphilia. Um, it's a tender song about how soap companies lie to you, and they want—they don't want you to clean off, man. They want you to croak so you don't buy no more soap. Or maybe someone's like mad that you croaked, <clears throat> and then they <clears throat> have a bunch of babies to make up for it, and then wash those babies with soap. Thus, by your death, there's like five more soap buyers. Yeah, I mean, <sighs> by your death. <laughs> Yeah. By your death, by, by, <laughs> per se. Anyway, yeah, I guess we'll cool it for now. And um, yeah, they're and, playing the wait. Yeah, they're playing the wait. And oh man, best part of the movie where um, uh, I forget which one of the is it Mavis that says that's like perfect. perfect. Oh, I thought perfect. she said beautiful. Beautiful. Okay. She like the song ends. She gets right up on the mic, and I'm gonna do some ASMR. Right. So turn your turn your headphones up, and she's like. Beautiful. Beautiful. Now she's like, beautiful. And it goes on for a long time. La, 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 la. And then they sing La La Love You, which is weird because it was like 12 years before the song came out. And then, Actually, 13. And then Pop Staples goes and hangs out with Swoozy Kurtz in that uh, Talking Head movie. I can't. Anyone named Pops, I always want to say Pops Fresh and Meyer. Pops I just, this is, this is yeah, but, yeah, yeah. His his gelatinous juice. Can, <laughs> Jew, whoa, that, whoa. Uh, that's not. <laughs> I know you. Gelatinous, gelatinous goo. goo. It's a tongue twister. It's a Simpsons reference. Yeah. Not that the Simpsons, you know, especially in the early <laughs> days, had had its fair share of of anti-Semitic and and um and way homophobic references. Hey, yeah. Homer's a doofus. Yeah, I mean, hey, they wore not they wore onions on their belts at that time. Too. Were, yeah, a lot of that things was were, the style. A lot of time. things were different, and we've learned a lot of lessons, and we've learned from those mistakes. So, yeah, yeah themes, baby, <laughs> motherfuckers. Anyway, yeah, this is the United Givers of Themes podcast. We'll, uh, you know, keep, uh, keep an eye on our Instagram and stuff. We won't be gone for long. Probably a couple, you know, a couple weeks or a month. I was thinking, you know, maybe the, like the, I, I know you can record like podcasts over phones and zooms and stuff. I don't know. Maybe we can. Maybe there might be a little mini episode or something, or maybe I'll do a mini episode just by myself or whatever. Um, who knows? Maybe you'll even hear from those Wamblers guys if they're still around. You never know. I haven't heard from them in a while. No, nah, I mean they're definitely not still around. I think there, of them. There's I, no way to know. I think of them whenever somebody messes with my head. But. Yeah, yeah, and but then you forget about it because, like, hey man, life is a life's a carnival. <laughs> Full circle. And a highway. Yeah. Life is a highway that you want to rock on all night long. <laughs> yes. uh, so, yeah. Um, yeah. Keep an eye on our uh, social media. Go to twogolf.com for um, updates every eight months or so. And, um, you know, uh, AP8 will be out soon. It's got eight songs. It's got Wolf. It's got You've Got Mail. It's got Dream. It's got the first theme that is two movies in one, Dreamscape and Nightmare on Elm Street, because they're basically the same movie. Yes. Uh, um, or same vibe, you know. Sure. But, uh, yeah, that'll be, that'll be out soon. So, um, thanks. So much for listening, um, and uh, you know uh, you can send uh, wedding presents to both of us uh, <laughs> um, just via Bitcoin. Yeah, we like stuff and Bitcoins. Um, do you need to get out of here, or do you, you want to do some wambles or something? Yeah, yeah, I got a little.